What is happening, boy? Turbo Toys here. Now it's Clash of the Castle weekend. It's finally here. Morning, mate. All right? I have no idea who that is. So what that means, I've got about a two-hour drive to go and meet Craig from the NWF, and then we're going to drive across about another two and a half hours to go to Wells. Our first stop's going to be to Swansea because we're going to go and visit the Toys and Mask Warehouse, and then we're going to come back towards Cardiff, where the Clash of the Castle festivities are going to get underway. So let's go. <laughs> Our way across the M4, our first stop is going to be the Toys and Mask Warehouse, and this is where we met up with Will, the owner, who was kind enough to welcome us in with open arms. And we had great conversations throughout our time there, and he just gave us the freedom to walk around the warehouse at our own leisure. And he just told us to take our time and have a good look, as well as being on hand to answer any questions. Video can't do this place justice, but please enjoy the sights and sounds of the Toys and Mask Warehouse. Yeah, that was the best line. So I say five quid each. Which is actually more beneficial. Are you real sir? I ain't gotta worry about you ain't gotta worry about me. No no on And the great thing about this warehouse is the fact that you would randomly find some awesome figures lying around from all different wrestling toy lines. Will also has boxes and boxes of loose Jax figures, including classic superstars and some deluxe aggression, which was awesome to see. It's quite a good head scan though, that. <laughs>
through a rear figure. But that about wraps our time up at the Toys and Masks warehouse. Now, if you're ever in the Swansea oh, area, I highly cool. recommend that you go take a look because there was figures there I didn't expect to see. And if it wasn't for the fact that it was the first place we went to, I think both me and Craig would have spent a lot more money there. So I want to say a big thanks to Will for letting us come down and being so cool. And we hope to do it again someday. I will leave a link to the website in the description below and we'll show you what we got at the end of the video. But just before we hit the road back to Cardiff for the evening to meet up with the boys, we take a cheeky little look at the Swansea Smiths the to see if they had any deals. He's coming out in the 98, I think it is. Now I'm like, well... Friday night in Cardiff just had a great vibe and it was so nice to be surrounded by so many wrestling fans and me and the lads we just had a fantastic time. Great laughs and we were literally the last ones on the dance floor dancing with girls with disco balls on their heads. It was an absolute awesome night. Alright so we made it to the next day which was show day and we went back into the city and we met up with Clarky Collector and his friend Dawn and he really wanted to go see the British Bulldog display in the pop-up shop, but there was a couple of hours queue. But we decided to go have a look, and as we were standing outside the shop, Dawn came up with a brilliant idea just by saying, why don't you just go up to the security guard and ask if you can take some pictures? So successfully, both Clarkie and myself was able to get in here and take a few snaps. So I want to say a big thank you to that security guard, because I think he got told off after letting us in. And I knew this meant the world to Clarky seeing this gear and here he is doing an awesome bulldog pose which he probably spent a week practicing. So as we get ever so close at a showtime I just want to share with you some clips of being inside the arena for this event so please enjoy it.
Right, so all that's left to do before we make our way back home is to show you what we picked up from this weekend. And like we said earlier, if it wasn't for the fact that Toys and Masks was the first place that we went to on the weekend, then we probably would have ended up getting a lot more than what you see here. So between us, we ended up getting 12 figures, as you see here. And after having a really good look throughout the warehouse, I see a number of figures that I wanted to personally pick up. But one of the definites for both of us that we wanted to pick up was the Elite 90 Randy Orton, because this is a figure that we both wanted, but we failed to pick up. So when we see it, I don't think both of us hesitated in wanting to grab one each. And while we were there, we were having a conversation about builder figure sets, and Will showed Craig that he had the Booker T builder figure set, which Craig wasted no time in putting on his pile of figures. There was also some damage stock there, and within that stock, they had the Elite 77 SummerSlam Ravishing Rick Rude. And there was some damage to one of the arms, but knowing that I had the fodder to fix it, mixed in with the price that Will offered me, I just couldn't refuse the pickup. Craig also found a figure that had been eluding him, and that was the zombie AJ Styles. And as luck would have it, there was one in stock, so it was an awesome pickup for Craig. I then couldn't resist picking up a figure that I myself have been wrestling with the idea of getting, and that was classy Freddy Blassie. We then jumped over to the Swansea Smiths where Craig ended up picking up the basic 130 AJ Styles and then after rooting around the clearance section we both decided to pick up the 128 suited MVP figure each because not only is it a cool looking figure but it was dirt cheap. But as we make our way home back down the M4 I just want to say a massive thanks to the City of Cardiff for hosting such a great weekend. And a big thanks goes to Craig, because none of this would have been possible without him. Got to say, I had an absolute blast with all the squad, but for now, that's going to do it for this one. So if you enjoyed what you see, then please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Come check your boy out on Instagram and TikTok, at Turbo Toys. And until the next video, I will see ya. When I see ya.